If you're in the beginning of your programming journey or you're just starting to learn how to code, I recommend that you start thinking about building a capstone project. And if you don't know what a capstone project is, it's just a term that I took from my university. And it's this project that we would build at the end of the semester after acquiring a new set of skills. After acquiring skills throughout the semester, we would put all of those skills and all of that theory into practice and build a final capstone project at the end of the semester. And so in your case, this capstone project is just a project where you would showcase all of the skills, all of the coding skills that you've learned in the past couple of months, and then put them and build this one project. When I was in university, my capstone project involved taking songs and then extracting out the different instruments of those songs and then outputting that into different track files. And then those track, those instrument track files could then be used to generate new songs. And so that project was really interesting. It was, there was a lot of research that we did and a lot of coding. But the idea here is that we were able to build something practical, something that was exciting, something that was fun, and it actually helped us to become better at the software development process. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over three main reasons why you should start building your capstone project as soon as possible. And I know it's tempting for beginners to just build these different exercises and all these mini projects, but not really building a capstone project yet because it's intimidating. But hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have enough good reasons to start thinking about how to build your next capstone project in the next few months. So let's get started. So my name's Henrik and I'm here to help you learn the foundations of software development. So let's get started. But before we begin, I'd like to mention that I do have a free workshop for you. It's called my Capstone Project Workshop. And in that workshop, I go over three secrets to coding your own capstone project in just three months. Now, why did I create this workshop? The most common goal that I get from people who apply to my one-on-one -on -one programming mentorship program is to, quote, be more proficient at creating projects. You and I both know that learning how to code is more than just memorizing code syntax. It's about applying your coding skills to real world projects that make you feel confident and capable. A lot of new programmers tell me they struggle with turning what they've learned into something practical, and many feel overwhelmed trying to go beyond tutorials to build their own thing. So if this sounds like you, you can download this workshop in the link in the description. And if you download it and watch it and pay attention to what it says, then you'll definitely build a good foundation to your software development journey. All right, reason number one why you should start building your capstone project is because you don't really learn much through exercises alone. And this may be controversial, but for example, lead code. I don't think that you can actually learn much about the coding or learn much about software development through doing a bunch of lead code exercises. And I know a lot of programmers pride themselves in doing lead code. And to be frank, uh, maybe I'm a little biased because I'm from a different generation of programmers. I was already in the workforce when lead code was founded. So it wasn't really part of our generation when we were learning how to code. So maybe I'm a little biased there, but if I can get into the workforce without doing lead code, then my guess is that you can get into the workforce without doing lead code also. And so the main emphasis here that I'm trying to get at is capstone projects or big projects in general are more important. In my programming classes in university, I remember that we were given homework problems or homework exercises. And these exercises were useful for helping us understand the theory, helping us understand what was being taught in lecture and in our books but they were not really helpful in helping us become better programmers. And I say that because these exercises were really straightforward, really simple. And so there's not much struggle there. And where we really struggled, where I really grew as a software developer, as a programmer, was in the projects. And I remember usually we would have around four major projects in our classes. And those major projects were really useful or really helped me grow a lot because they taught me a lot about debugging. They taught me a lot about how to build my code incrementally so as to make slow progress over time and then it also taught me how to make backups of my code so that I could save my progress and not lose all the work that I, I did and and a lot of times when you're programming and then you break some feature that you were working on before um, that that could be easily fixed if you had a backup of that code and so I learned that skill when I was doing these projects in my university 
We didn't have quote unquote capstone projects in each of those classes, but my point here is that it was those projects that really helped me grow. And maybe something I could say is that coding is different than software development. Coding is just writing some code, putting some code together and making it work. But I would say software development involves designing the program, design thinking about what kind of features to put in there, what kind of data structures to implement, and how to put all your data together, how your data is going to, how different parts of your program are going to talk to one another. And then software development also involves doing a lot of debugging because of course there's going to be bugs in your code and then a lot of testing to make sure you cover a variety of different test cases. And so this, it was these projects that really helped me get better at software development. And as I got better at software development, I became better at coding as well. I still remember my final C project in university. It was a really hard project, and but it was also a really fun project and it involved linked lists and memory allocation. And basically what this program did is that it would calculate the impedance of a circuit. And this circuit is a circuit that would be specified and defined by the user. So the user would input different components into the circuit. And as the user was inputting these components, the program would calculate the impedance of the circuit. And so that was really fun. And I was one of the few people in my class that actually finished the project. A lot of students were procrastinating, but I was working on it since since we were assigned it. So I made slow progress over time and then I was able to produce something. But my friends, they were rushing at the last minute and they didn't have a really good program at the end of it. All right, second reason why you should build a capstone project is because it gives you something that you can show employers. You can start building your portfolio or your resume and then have these different projects in that portfolio or resume and then you can show them to your employers. And so most of the time when you go to an interview, employers, a lot of employers are going to be looking at your experience. And I found that they care more about your experience than your actual coursework or your GPA. And so they look at your internships, they look at all of the projects that you did. And so when I built my resume, I put all of the projects that I worked on for maybe my labs or my, my capstone project. And then when I put those in there in my resume, my these employers, when I would go to the interview, they would ask me about those projects. They would ask me to explain what I was doing in those projects and different design choices that we made. And so this, these capstone projects that you're starting to build, especially when you're in the beginning of your programming journey, these capstone projects will be key for helping you, helping you to explain to your employer or your future employer your programming skills. In my interviews, I rarely got questions about coursework, and if I did get questions about coursework, they were usually very general, very broad, very high level. And so they cared more about my projects. They cared more about my design choices. They cared more about me explaining the kinds of cool things that I did and also the struggles that I encountered and how I overcame those struggles. And they also asked questions about my teamwork effort, how I collaborated with others. And so they care more about how you work as a team and how you work on your projects. And this makes a lot of sense because if you think about the workforce, it's really about these things, about projects, building projects together in a team and then collaborating with one another. So this is what employers care mo most about. And so if you build a capstone project, you're already building something that employers care about. Speaking of what employers really care about, employers really care about projects that actually provide some sort of benefit to society. And so these are what I would call real world projects. And I like to categorize projects into these two categories, these real world projects and then toy projects. And I would say toy projects are projects that are more for you, for you to learn how to code something. And then real world projects are projects that you code because you want to provide or you want to build a program or application that a customer or a user can actually use to help benefit their lives. And so these employers, they really care about those kinds of projects. And so when you build a capstone project, you need to think about these um, these real world projects. Employers don't really care about if you built this like tip calculator or these, these different um, small toy projects like these fun games, these these typical typical projects that you would do as a beginner. They care more about some kind of capstone project where you're building something that actually provides some sort of value to society as a whole. 
All right, so this leads me to my last reason why you should build a capstone project, and that's because capstone projects are fun. And that's because when you build a capstone project, usually it's a real world project, some sort of project that can actually benefit society. And usually when you pick a capstone project, it's a capstone project that you build for yourself. And so for me, with my capstone project, I was taking a song and then splitting it into different instrument files and so that was very useful for me as a musician i'm also a musician and so i like putting music or i like producing music and so i like to put these different wave files together to make a new song and so it was exciting for me because it was something that i could actually use for my own music production and so when you build a capstone project you want to be start thinking about and when you come up with the idea for your capstone project, you wanna think of a project that you can use and can actually use in your daily life. One key reason why I wanna highlight this fun component of a capstone project is because when you're programming, the pro programming can often be mundane or sometimes it can be frustrating. And so if you need that extra motivation to overcome that frustration, especially when you're debugging a bug that you, you have no clue why it's happening, what will really help you overcome that is this fun, this project being a fun project. If it's a project that's like a passion project for you, if it's something that you enjoy doing and you're building something that can, that can actually help you, then that little bit of motivation will help you overcome those struggles that you're going to face. You know it's a fun project when you've come home from a long day, maybe you're working or maybe you've been studying, and then you come home and then you're excited about working on that capstone project. And so it's kind of like your, your new hobby. And so that's when you know that this is a fun project and this is what a capstone project can do for you. You're not really gonna have that feeling when you're building, just doing some programming exercises, grinding out these lead code problems. No, you're, you're actually gonna, you're gonna be doing that if you have a capstone project that you're building over time. And as you build these and add these new features into your capstone project, it gives you a sense of fulfillment and a sense of accomplishment. All right, two applications that had this effect on me that I built recently. The first one is a devotional app, and that's because I'm a Christian, and so I really wanted an app to help me with my Bible reading and my prayer time to, to the Lord. So the first one was the Bible reading, so it would give me a chapter to read for that day, and then a Psalm from the Book of Psalms to pray over, and then it would also give me some prayer requests. So I would ask my friends and family for their prayer requests, then I would put it in this database and then this application would give me some random prayer requests to pray for it. And then I would pray for my friends and family as it gave me these prayer requests. And then lastly, it would give me a memory verse to read or to memorize for the day. And so it really helped me in my devotional life. And then the second app that I built was an options trading app. So this app was more so for tracking different trades that I had done, some, some contracts that I sold. And so it would give me some results and it would let me know when an option was expiring and so it basically just helped me with my options trading and so these these applications my point here is that these were actually applications that helped me in my day-to-day -day life and i didn't build these applications because i wanted to get better at programming i did i built these applications because they would actually help me with my day all right, there you go. Those are three reasons why you should build a capstone project as soon as possible. The first one is, is that you don't really learn much from exercises. You learn mostly from projects and not just any projects, capstone projects. And these projects are capstone projects that you can actually build that will be actually useful in the real world. And so you learn how to code through exercises, but you learn how to be a software developer through projects. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is that you have, when you build a capstone project, you have something that you can actually show to employers. And so employers, they don't really care about those little exercises that you're doing, these little toy projects. They care more about these capstone projects that actually provide value to the world. And then the last reason is that capstone projects are fun. And that's because you're building something that is meaningful, something that is purposeful, something that you can actually use and something that can help you out in the real world. So those are the three reasons. Like I mentioned earlier, I have a free workshop for you, my capstone project workshop. 
And in that workshop, I go over three secrets to coding your own capstone project in just three months. So if you want to become more proficient at creating your own projects, you want to move on from these tutorials and create your own projects, then be sure to check the link in the description and watch my coding workshop today. I'd love to hear from you too. Please let me know in the comment section what capstone project you're going to build. I'd love to hear your thoughts and hopefully maybe as you share your thoughts, you can inspire other people to build their own capstone projects as well. So leave a comment down below and share your thoughts. And that's it for this week's video. I hope it really helped you out. And if it did help you out, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any other questions about capstone projects, please let me know in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer you there. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.